Hey, welcome. Today we're going to take that ombre gray fleece that we fluffed up using the BAM Fiberworks Fainting Made Mini Picker. Um, we're gonna work that fiber up onto the drum carter. We're gonna make some lovely bats out of it. And then we're gonna start spinning some singles. All right, let's go. All right, so we ran this through the mini picker, so there really isn't much here, but do if you see anything the picker missed. Um, and like I said, the during that video, the picker is not gonna get out your shortcuts. So get those out if you see them. The rest just in thin layers. We're just running it through. And this is a brother drum carter. Um, and I believe it's 90, 72, 92. Wow, I'll have that in the description below. 72 teeth per inch, I believe. Um, and we're just gonna work up as much fiber until it's full. This holds approximately two ounces. It does vary a little bit um, on the different fiber you put in. Around two ounces. So four, we'll do two bats and that should be enough to work up and make some socks or socks and a hat. And um, this is fiber from a meat sheep that I picked up during shearing school. And most of the wool trade, especially from um, uh, meat sheep, the fiber, that, the only fiber they really sell is the white. And that's just due to the fact that it can be dyed. And where the shearing school was, they sell most of theirs to a mattress company. I'm just gonna take a brush and pack it down a little bit. And they don't want any black fibers or anything like that um, in there. So all the colored fleeces were pretty much, well, they're pretty much garbage as far as the, the, um, the farmer there is concerned. So he had absolutely no problem with students taking some. So I wasn't the only one. Um, cause there were these, which are the ombre grays. I'll have to see if I can figure out what breed they were. I just know they're a meat sheep breed and they were big. Um, the ewes weighed somewhere around 150 to 180 pounds. They were, they were big. Um, and then they had Jacobs on the property too. Not so much for me, more like an oddity. I see Jacobs with the multiple horns are so neat looking. So, if you're curious, all these bags and stuff behind me are just different fiber. Clean, wash, some of it's dyed. And this I'm gonna run through twice. Since it's picked really well, I don't think I need to run it through any more than that. Yeah. So if you have picked fiber, you just have to look through it and pull out like them. There's some things that are like little twisty seed bits. Mm, see that? And they, only come out by pulling on them. They, they don't come out any other way. The picker did break some of them in half though. So I'm not sure if that made it easier or worse. It really depends on the environment your sheep that your piece that you're working for is in. The proof will be in the spinning now. I'm going to continue this process, so a little handful at a time. 
lay it out till it's smooth, pick the spindly spiral things out of it. And there's a garbage can by my feet. I'm not throwing them on the ground. And just keep working it through. Since it's picked, it's a lot less work. I don't have to open up the fiber and then find all sorts of treasures. Um, treasures are right there on the top to see. And more little bits will get out by the, um, the carding process. Get sort of like the sandy fibery bits or sandy grassy bits. Still get some more on here. If you feel through the center part, right here, this strip, you can take your finger and feel where it's thick and where it's thin. It should be thin right there. It's a little thicker. Um, you try to get that even all the way across and up to where the tines um, bend. I'm slowing down when I put the fiber on. I'm letting the fiber jump from one drum to the other. And then when I go to pack it down, I speed it up. And this helps pack it down too. I go back and look through my bag and if I find things that shouldn't be in there, I try to pull them out. Under things. It's almost impossible to catch it all at once. Just so through the process, you get cleaner and cleaner in fiber. The drum is full. I'm going to use the dofting pin and go down the dofting strip and just pull it all off. And then we'll run everything through again just to keep the fibers aligned or align the fibers better I should say. It will also um, blend the fibers more since we're working with various shades of gray. Probably looks kind of white on the um, camera but or on the video I should say. Um, these are various shades of gray. There's no true white. For parts, I'm just gonna fluff them up a little bit. And if you see any plant matter or other stuff that you don't want, seed pods, um, second cuts or whatever, just pull them out. gonna work all this off and that's our first bat done I mean depending on your 
fiber after you pick it, you only have to run it through twice. But if it is you know, not color you want to be not um, blended enough or um, it's just not how you want it to look or you want it to be more aligned, run it through more. There is a point where you run it through too much and it starts just balling up, but two to three times, four times. Have good practice fiber, play with it first. This is why I have whole fleeces, so if I mess up part of it, it's no big deal. There's more. Got this beautiful bat. I'll work on making another one and I'll see you at the spinning.